Hi right, folks, I'm making some what we call garlic pots today, which is a little pot with a lid and then put some holes in the lid to let the air flow through. So I've got my camera on a different sort of perspective today, I've got it quite high above. So we'll see how we get on with these, see what it looks like. little tube first, a cylinder. I want to keep it quite thick at the top because I'm going to put a little ledge in there for the lid to sit in. So when I just lift this bit up, I won't do it all the way to the top. See, I'm just going to leave that thick part there and then to make the little ledge I'm just going to push in and down with my index finger sort of halfway across the top pushing it down which will form a little shelf like so if you can see and that's what the lid's going to sit in so now I'm just going to belly this out sometimes you can mess the mess that bit up you've just done when you put your hand in but you can always make it better when it's uh, when you finish it off so I'm just going to belly it out from the inside out and then just tidy this bit up again and I'm just going to put a little step in there bottom off tomorrow when it's drier so it looks a bit of a better shape I'll just mop this out Done. If I can get it closer up, if you can see the little gallery as we call it, that's what the lid. That's what the lid's going to sit in. So I'll just do another one, and then I'll make a few lids, and then I'll show you how we put the holes in the lids later on. Halfway across, push down. And then just open it up without wrecking the top. You could just use it as a as a pot to store anything. It's just that we use these for for garlic. So there you go again. Same thing. Simple little lip on the lid on the rim. So we'll make some dead simple lids now. So the way I'm going to centre these is just centre them quite flat. Well, really flat in fact, couldn't be easier. 
just like that. And then to form the little the little knob on the lid, you just push in about, I would say, a centimetre from the middle, push down and inwards. I need to put plenty of water on. Down and inwards, and as you can see, up pops your little knob, so to speak. And to shape that, you just shape the stem and then just make a little top on it like that. So it couldn't be easier, dead easy to make lids. So I'm not throwing it to any size, I'm just, I'll just trim it down by eye to fit the pot tomorrow. So we'll do another one of those and then we'll show you how we finish them off. Again, just centre it dead flat, like nothing else you would centre clay for. Doesn't matter what shape it is like that. But again, just pushing down both hands down and up and inward slightly to form the knob, stretching it out, and then again just to make the knob on the top. It's a bit. So what you can do to make a different shape knob on the top, you can again push down but slightly away from the centre and that will make a little point on the top. Having said that, I'm making a pig's ear of this. You see that's got a little point on the top. I'll show you that, that's got a little pointy top, a bit like a pagoda. So that's those done. So I'll get them trimmed up and I'll show you how we put the, the lids together and the lid holes in the lids. Well, hi folks, I'm just going to show you how I turn these little garlic pots now. Turn the lid, put the holes in it. So I'm just going to use my little turning tool just to smooth it out a touch. Get this bottom a bit, a bit tidier. And put a couple of little grooves in, like so. And then I'm going to use my little ribbon tool just to get quite a lot of this out of the bottom, make it a bit nicer, a bit narrower. stamp on, name stamp, and then we'll cut that off and we'll do the lid, so that's that, like so, people say why do you not trim the bottom, well there's no need, it just takes more time, it's perfectly flat, so there's no need to mess about trimming the bottom, putting a foot ring on it, so with this lid I'm just going to eye it up for for size, I'm not going to measure it or anything. Because what I do, I make a lot, I make a few more lids than I need, and I do a lot of a lot of the pots, and then you usually get one lid to, to fit any of them. So if it doesn't fit the one you're going for, it'll fit another one. So I'm just going to trim that up dead easy. Cut that off again. I'll just put the holes in it now. Oh. So what I would normally do with these is put them on a different plant, but uh, for the sake of this video, I'll just do it on here. So I've just got a basically like an old bullet shell, if you will, with a nail through, so you can push the bit out. And I'm just going to put three holes in, push it through, lift it out, and then pop the bit of clay out. three in probably stuck to the back now now it's come off so there's the lid there's the lid with three holes in see if it fits probably doesn't 
a little bit big, but like I said, I've got another, I've got some more pots that I've to have to turn to uh, that, it, that it will fit. So that's what they look like when they're finished. Anyway, in glaze, you can see how much they shrink. <laughs> so that's just one finished with its lid on. People want to see what they look like when they're finished. So that's what they look like. But as you can see, it's a heck of a lot of shrinkage from throwing it to firing it. So that's that, a little garlic pot.